And we're back at Lucky Pick Bumblebee, folks. This is a little bit different. I know it's not really a different version, but there, there's something different going on with this game. And is that uh, this version or this this particular game has a rocket ship on top? Look at that. Now, <laughs> these rocket ship numbers, the bottom progressive is actually getting pretty close. Um, the secondary one is not close enough really to chase. But it's nice that it's getting up there, so it's kind of in play, I'd say. Um, but we're, I really like that there's a bottom rocket ship that's very close to hitting. In addition to this board, which is by itself not exceptional, but it's playable, I, I believe. Um, you got eight spots, eight picks have been pulled out. Um, you got five additional games, two, two multipliers, one wild. Um, I am still determining what my starting criteria should be on this game um, for myself um, because I haven't had enough experience on it but I, I like seeing at least some combination of either three wilds three multipliers really like four or more of those like two wilds and two multipliers we're getting close here and five extra games helps I think so and it's only at the six, well, it says 80 cents here I want to show you guys this too so 60 cents goes into the base game, 20 goes into the rocket ship. So this game having a rocket ship doesn't really matter in terms of like taking money away from the base game. The money in the base game stays in the base game, 60 cents a spin. And you're putting this 20 cents towards the rocket ship, which I have a strong feeling. I mean, we're gonna probably get the bottom one. It's weird, someone's playing on the other side. This number keeps ticking up. <laughs> someone's playing. I better get it before them. So let's get spinning. Got $80 in the machine plus $40 free play. That's a 50 spin head start. So we're leveraging our free play on this opportunity and uh, we're as loud as we can go. Okay. All right, let's get some picks and let's get this bonus and let's get this rocket ship. We, we've got we've got a lot of a lot of things going on here. We want to get the rocket ship before whoever's playing on the other side, if they're still playing. Um, it's a shared rocket ship with one other machine and I hear I just heard a ding so they're they're doing lucky picks over there the, Me being the one to get this $49 is very important to me right now actually so we're I think we're gonna fast spin a little Because I don't want to oh, I just heard their rocket ship go off <laughs> We lost it folks Ah. Oh. This is the problem when you share a rocket ship. Wait, maybe, maybe I was hearing things. The rocket ship is still intact. It's at 48.75 right now. Oh, we got, got some bees there. Some more bees. The bees are making honey and we need to make some money. Come on bees, we haven't had one pick, but now we do. So, I don't know, I haven't had a lot of experience in this either, but they tend to move in clusters, and I don't know where the cluster is, so, ah, it's not even close. We're using our brain, we need to use our gut on the next pick. We're going to use gut instinct, we're not going to use logic on the next pick. It's tricky, folks. When to use your, your logic and when to use your gut instinct. Alright, what is the gut telling me right now? Feeling strong in this area, and I'm feeling this one. Right, our gut is not it's not helping. I, I don't know what I was feeling there. Really, it was indigestion probably. Rocket ships at 48.82. Boy, we got to pick a lot better. And, and the thing about this lucky pick game is you don't know how many, you don't know what the board is like. It's not like the board resets with all the same stuff every time. You can have a board that's heavy in wilds, heavy in free games, or heavy in credits, which would be unfortunate. All right, we got another lucky pick. I have no idea what to pick. I missed two free games. Okay. I'm going more random now because I'm not trusting my gut or my logic. <laughs> So just close your eyes and point and pick. Sometimes in life you gotta do that too. All right, so I guess that brings us up to 12 games, but we really could use another wild, would be ideal, before we get this bonus. 
Rocket ships at 4891. Be in the home stretch there. We got another lucky pick. This, this game's really all over the place. I'm going here. Oh man. More credits. Yes. I'm not trusting the picking right now, and we've got a rocket ship. That's fantastic. We're gonna get that money. Oh, here it is. Ready for liftoff. We already know we're getting the bottom jackpot. Miracles can happen, folks. But we're very confident. Just gonna stop right here. It's not going any further. That's good. Just, just award it. Don't go any further. We're fine with this. Reverse psychology. All right, we got the rocket ship, which is very helpful. It's another good reason to play this game when the, when you have borderline board, like a borderline picks, but your rocket ship is close on the bottom, and it's a lower bet. Yeah, it really makes a difference. All right, so we're up eight dollars and eighty-four cents, and we've got a board that we've been clearing. We've only grabbed two more games on our picks. So we would take bonus anytime now, because we're up money and the rocket ship is gone. So we want that bonus. Definitely could use a couple more picks, but we'll take that bonus anytime. Close it out and make a little money. Come on. Come on, bees. Let's get that. I need to buzz in on another pick here. There's a lot of dead spins in this game. Wow. This. All right, we got it. We got it. It took us down. Man, we were over 80. You see how fast that went? All right, so we're adding our games. We added, so now we have two wilds instead of one. Oh, man, we had another wild there. And oh my God, look at all those multipliers. Well, we missed that. We should have stayed up in that zone for sure. 10, 10 games? I thought we had more than that, but that's all right. Be good. All right, two bees every time. Are they making honey? Oh. We needed a honey pot in the back. Man, folks, just to break even, we need 20, over 20 more dollars here. Hive, hive, hive. Oh, this is, okay. Oh, we need better symbols. Matching better, better, better honey pots. Four dollars. Oh, game seven of ten. We needed a good symbol. Well, we're close. Oh, they're both over there. Come on. We did not connect very well. We did make profit. And that's thanks to the rocket ship. Our picking was not so good. But things kind of worked out anyway, so, you know, I mean, using $40 in free play to make $6. I think the board wasn't quite good enough. We didn't pick them that great, um, and and that's the result there. And we didn't, we didn't connect very well in the bonus either, so. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. It's the way the, <laughs> the, the honey drips. No, I don't know. Um, keep your eyes out for the lucky pick and, and especially ones now with the with the rocket ship on top adds a adds an additional element of decision making you know could influence taking a, a slightly in, uh, borderline board um, let me know what you guys thoughts on this game what your experience has been on it uh, very curious to hear about that and um, you know if you do decide to play it best of luck and literally pick them good folks see you next time